Hey everybody, I'm Crazy Marty, and today we're going to talk to you about how to change the valve on your horse trailer tank. I kind of had a couple of rocks thrown up from a dirt road that I was on for about 20 miles, doing 55, 60 miles an hour on a dirt road. I guess it shouldn't have been going that fast, but I had a, had a couple of rocks fly up and hit my, hit my valve. So what we got to do is we got to take and remove the the bolts here and then get this piece out and then put in the new valve right there. So the very first thing we have to do is remove the bolts. I've already taken, got them out. So we remove the bolts and now we have to wiggle this thing and get it to come out. Alright, so here's the old valve. The kind of a had a destructive run. It consists of three parts. You have two seals and they fit down inside of here on both sides. And the hardest part about putting them in and out is getting enough room so you can clear the flange. Because each side of the valve has a flange. So we have to oops, so you have to spread the spread the stuff far enough apart to get the valve in there around those flanges. That's your hardest part. So you, know, you just kind of have to be careful not to break anything else. Take things loose if need be so you can get enough movement out of it and get it split open far enough to get the valve in and out. Once you get your valve put back into place, be careful when you tighten up the the bolts. If you over tighten them, the valve will become really hard to pull out and really stiff. Uh, so it doesn't take a lot of pressure to over tighten it. You just want to make them snug. That's it. And then, you know, check it for movement, make sure it moves fairly easy. After that, you're done. Alrighty. So there you go. That's how you change the, the gray water tank valve or your black water tank valve on your horse trailer. I'm Crazy Marty. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.